young adult novelist from our area is writing a new series about triplet sisters vying for one throne. You know how that goes. The Three Dark Crown series has been optioned to be turned into a film by the same production company behind the hit Netflix series Stranger Things. And now the second book, entitled One Dark Throne, is set to hit bookstores. Please welcome the novelist from Kent, Washington, Kendara Blake. It's good to have you here. Thank you. So, how many books have you written in all? You've written several, right? I've written several. Actually, One Dark Throne will be my eighth novel. Eighth, yeah. yeah. When did you wow. start? Wow. Um, <laughs> have you just now counted? <laughs> yeah. That seems like a lot. Um, I had my first novel published in 2010, but I've been writing since seventh grade. So your whole life. What was Pretty it that much. appealed to you so much about the storytelling? I don't know. I think I was a big reader. When I was growing up, my mom and I spent countless hours in the library uh, reading the same eight unicorn books over and over again. <laughs> as so, we do. As one does. Yes. Uh, I feel bad, actually. I think there was a unicorn shortage for the other children <laughs> in my town. Um, but I think reading kind of it lends itself to that creative process. Yeah, so. you start imagining yep. other things that are, are spurred by what you've seen on the what you've seen. I think <laughs> of reading as seeing yeah. because as soon as I read it, it's alive in my it's head in, in that head. way. So tell us about this series. So the Three Dark Crown series is set on a magical <coughs> secret island, mm -hmm. and it's about three triplet sisters, queens, and unfortunately for them, when they turn 16, they have to just murder the crap out of each other. No. <laughs> <laughs> whichever one survives Fight gets, it out. gets to take over. Well, like, is it sort of Hunger Games, or what happens? It's, it's more of a magical. So each sister has her own magical strength that mm -hmm. she needs to develop and then use to take the crown. So the oldest sister is an elemental. She controls the weather and the fire and all of that. Uh, the middle sister is a naturalist who controls animals and can make things grow. And then the youngest sister is a poisoner who is an expert assassin and is immune to all toxins. An expert <laughs> assassin, immune to all toxins. And so they always say that writing is a little bit autobiographical. What, what in the world happened to you? So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My parents are lovely people. <laughs> um, I, so I have no idea where all of, but all of my books do tend to go to the dark side. Uh, my first novel that I ever read when I was a child was Stephen King's Gerald's Game. See, that's what happened. That's what, it's, you know, it's a gateway, it's a yeah, gateway book. it's a book. gateway book, that's it what definitely it is. is. Well, it's fun because they are magical, but they also have an edge, and that, mm -hmm. you know, that keeps the suspense, and I think the reader interested in what's going on. So, the, this is a trilogy, there'll be a third. Actually, it's a quad, so there'll it's a be a quad. fourth. Okay, could it yes. be more than that as time I, goes on? I don't think so because originally it was a two. So One Dark Throne is the like the the culmination of the original story, and then the next two books will tell what happened after. So are you one of those people who finds uh, characters living in your head and you just sort of follow them around? Kind of. I mean, with One Dark Throne, it was a little bit different. Um, it actually came about from a bee swarm. Like the whole idea of the three queens. Um, I don't know if anybody's familiar with beekeeping, but a queen bee will lay several queen eggs before mm -hmm. she lays her hive, and when the new queen babies hatch out, they also murder the crap out of each other, and then the strongest queen bee survives. I actually didn't over. know that. I thought. I guess yeah. I don't know how I thought there was just one queen and how you'd get another one later, but I never thought of it either. There you until go. We came upon a swarm of bees at a book event, and everyone was terrified of being stung. But there happened to be a beekeeper there who I peppered with questions because that's just the and way I am. And out came the idea. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Okay, so once you've captured the people who are behind Stranger Things and their imagination <laughs> and them wanting to make something of your books, that's got to be a pretty big deal. How did you find out and what's happening with that? That was um, really unexpected. My agent called one morning and she said, hey, we've got an offer from Fox and the producer from Stranger Things. <laughs> and I just said, huh? What? I, I didn't know any of this was happening. Um, but it's been really great, you know, spoken with the producers. They're very cool people. I love Stranger Things. Me too. Oh, go oh. Me too. It's like the coolest between that and It. Like the kids I am the so not going to It, but I'm, I'm, I'm definitely on with Stranger Things. So is this going to be a series or a movie or do you know yet? I think the direction that they're heading in is a series of films, but they did option for either TV or or film, so it could go either way. Either way will mm -hmm. be very cool. And f will you be involved in the writing? Contractually, no. Um, unless you know, unless you're a real big hitter like J.K. Rowling yeah. or Stephanie Meyer, you don't have a lot of clout. But um, I've had other projects optioned as well, and the producers are usually really inclusive because they want, you know, they want what everybody wants to make the best product possible. Yeah. And 
part of that is talking to the creator and making sure that that vision comes alive. So you have other series out, right? Not just I do. this one. Tell us about the others. Yes. So my first series was Anna Dressed in Blood, which was actually optioned by Stephanie Meyer, who wrote Twilight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and that one is about a teenage ghost hunter and the ghost, Anna Dressed in Blood, who he has to go forth and kill. Unfortunately, she's way too strong for him. So. <laughs> beats him back and forth. It's very humiliating. <laughs> Any others you want to talk about? Um, my second series was the Goddess Horse series, which was anti-goddess, mortal gods, and ungodly. And that was Greek mythology about dying Greek gods. Interesting. Where'd you go to college? I went to college in Ithaca, in Ithaca, New York. And where do you live now? Not at all for writing, but... <laughs> <laughs> and now I live in Kent. In your right in our own backyard. Please stay in touch and come back as Absolutely. you keep writing these wonderful Absolutely. books. We appreciate it. Kendara will discuss and sign copies of One Dark Throne at a book launch. It's a party, a book launch party, on Saturday, September 23rd at the University Bookstore in Mill Creek. Please visit our website. We'll have details for you there and also more on two other upcoming events in Olympia and Kennewick. All right, when we come back, still ahead, our favorite gal about town is back with her favorite arts and entertainment events, Nancy Guppy, if you ask me.